cognizant to the needs of our learners, parents, and teachers, the Department of Education provided us with powerful tools for productivity that will allow us to foster critical thinking skills, problem-solving skills, communication and collaboration skills to be compassionate, responsible global citizens. Join us and discover new ideas in our series of professional development training program with the ICTS at Tech Unit and Microsoft Education Philippines. Together, we will equip our learners and empower our fellow educators for a dynamic future. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, at para sa guro. Sulong Edukalidad! Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Hello, hello, and good afternoon, Philippines. Good afternoon, world. Welcome once again to our Italy online tutorial for contemporary Filipinos from the regions. And I am your tutor for this afternoon, Tutor Mary Grace. So before I proceed to our um, lesson this afternoon, I would like to say good afternoon to our viewers who are also live in our chat box. Good afternoon, Sir Carl Henry Damaso. Watching from Philippine International English School Plate. Ma'am Lumas Udith uh, Eroles, watching from Tawag Elementary School, Hinunangan, South Leyte. Ma'am Mary Jane Pablo, watching from Mabini. And all the students from Quezon Science High School who are with me this afternoon in our online tutorial session. So once again, this is Contemporary Philippine Arts from the Regions. All right, so last week was week five, which means this week we are going to focus on a region, okay? Uh, an actual region in the Philippines we're in. We're going to explore the different contemporary arts done by people coming from this region, okay? And which have become famous in the world of the arts. So this is local contemporary artworks in Mindanao. If you have seen my post, I have invited you to fly with me to Mindanao and explore the different artworks they have in their place, all right? So we are going to use this reference, the ADM developed by the Division of Cagayan de Oro City. Thank you very much for lending us this module. And the MELCs in concentration for this week will be uh, to conceptualize contemporary art-based techniques and performance practices in their locality. So as you can see in the picture, we have there the single dance, okay, which introduces us to the locality of Mindanao and the objectives. After this module, all of us should be able to revisit some various ideas on the essence of contemporary art. So, tingnan natin ano ba yung sa napag-aralan natin, ano yung marirevisit natin as we delve deeper into the contemporary artworks produced in the locality of Mindanao. Also, we are going to identify some contemporary artworks made by local artists in Mindanao. Siyempre, hindi mo awala yan. It will be a virtual gallery walk into these different artworks. So, meron tayong virtual museum later on. And then, of course, at the end of the session, you should be able to create the intended final product using appropriate materials for the best available output. Which means that... Um, 
after this lesson and all the lessons that we've tackled previously, we should be able to really um, put together okay, an artwork that we can call ours okay, using all the different um, local materials available okay, within our reach. Kasi, syempre, it's, it's difficult to gather all the other materials. So, kung yung available sa area natin, we should be able to use them and create an intended final product. But that comes later. Okay, so last week, we talked about the different approaches in researching for techniques and performance practices. So, na nalaman natin that if we are aiming to become an artist, okay, uh, we have to be able to do these researches before we can actually proceed into doing art. So unless talagang we woke up one day, uh, we wake up one day, I mean, and find out that we are really gifted, okay, in this field. But nonetheless, we still have to do these approaches for us to be able to produce um, a masterpiece, okay, a masterpiece of art. All right, before we proceed to our actual lesson, let us see what we already know about the region of Mindanao. So this activity, I would like to call All Things Mindanao. The instruction is plain and simple. You're just going to guess what is shown in each picture. So you can type in your answers in our chat box. Before I proceed to the items I have prepared for you this afternoon, guys, I would like to say hi and hello to our viewers from Quezon Science High School. We have Ashley Jana, Angel Faith, um, John Edelbert, Arlene, Jane Rafazo, um, Andre, Roy, uh, Rafi Veranga, Raf uh, Ella, Jarvis. Okay, thank you very much, guys, for being with me this afternoon. Also, good afternoon to Ma'am Rosalinda Velasco Pitogo. He says, good afternoon, hashtag Itulay. Thank you, Ma'am. And to Ma'am Rhymer B. Faith. Watching from Pagadian City, Zamboanga del Sur, Santa Lucia Central Elementary School. So, good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, proceeding now to our first item for all things Mindanao. So, this is our first picture. All right, I'm going to give you five seconds to guess what is shown or what is depicted in this picture. Your time starts now in five, four, it's very easy. Look at what they're wearing. Three, two, one. And time is up. What is depicted or what is shown in this picture? Let's see if we have answers in the chat box. All right. Okay. I guess uh, this one is a bit difficult. Okay. But the answer is, in this picture, all the women on the stage are wearing what we call malo. So it's a traditional clothing in the region part of Mindanao. Okay, so Malo. Next item. So this is our next picture. Hmm, sumptuous. This is actually considered as the, if I'm not mistaken, the king of fruits here in the Philippines. Would like you would like to guess what it what is it? So please type in your answer in our chat box. In five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. Do we have answers? Okay, Ma, uh, Sir Carl Henry Damaso said durian. Um, the students from Quezon Science High School said it's durian. Okay, uh, let's see if you got the correct answer. Oh, by the way, good afternoon also, Ma'am Giselle May Siton Oshones, who is currently watching from DLES Jose Abad Santos, Davao Occidental, straight from Davao. Okay, let's see if you got the correct answer. And the answer to this picture is, it is durian, okay? So it's very famous for its, um, uh, well, signature odor, okay? But the inside, you're, you're really, you're going to forget your name once you get to taste this uh, king of fruits, okay? So this is durian, okay? And let's proceed to the last item in our All Things Mean and Our Activity. This is our next picture, all right? So very colorful. Uh, it, it looks really fun. Like hashtag, it's more fun in the Philippines. It looks like something is really going on in the picture. What do you think is shown in this photo? Okay, you have five seconds to put in your answer in our comment section. In five, four, three, two, and 
Time is up. Ding, 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 ding. Let's see if we have answers from the comment section. Okay, so unfortunately, I think they're really thinking too hard for the answer, but this is actually one of the most famous festival in the Mindanao, Mindanao region. And this is what we call, okay, oh, you are correct, Edelbert. This is the Kadayawan Festival, a very colorful um, costumes worn by, by the festival dancers. Okay, it's done annually in Mindanao. And like what I said, it's it belongs to the hashtag is more fun in the Philippines category because it is one of the most um, sought after events in the country. Okay, the Kadayawan Festival. There you go. So all these things, these three items, the Malong, Durian, and Kadayawan Festival, these are very basic information that you have to know if you want to you know prepare yourself okay when you when you travel to this region to the part of mindanao so let's move on to our lesson because we really can't wait to see what art artworks they have in the in that region okay so before we proceed let's learn more about mindanao so first and foremost as seen in the map on the left side of your screen you will notice the the red part in the Philippine map, you see there the region of Mindanao. And it is the second largest island next to the Zot. Okay, there you go. Another information is that Mindanao has been considered as the pioneer frontier. Okay, what does it mean? It means because Mindanao is um, a large island, it has um, many agricultural agricultural lands that were not that are not yet being developed or used to its full potential. So this this region is called as the pioneer frontier of the Philippines. Okay, its area covers thirty six thousand five hundred thirty seven square miles. Although yan ay irregularly shaped, okay, napakalawak naman na nasasakop. Kaya nga yan second largest island in the country. And then we have to know also that this region is home to the majestic Mount Apo, which measures 9,692 feet. Okay, very, uh, very high mountain, one of the um, bucket list, what included in bucket list, bucket list of um, several uh, mountain explorers or hikers. No, because tayo naman when you when you go there, maybe we just would like to uh, take a selfie with Mount Apo as our background, but there are some who would really hike the mountain up, all 9,000 feet of it, diba? And you can find that mountain in Mindanao. Also, it, it has the largest concentration of ethnic minorities. So marami dyang mga tinatawag natin, um, uh, what do you call that? Um, mga Asian tribes pa na still thriving up to this day, you know? They are concentrated, their, their population has the largest number in the region of Mindanao. The different languages used in this region are Cebuano, we have Hiligaynon, Surigaonon, Tausu, Chavacano, Maguindanao, and Maranao. So these are just some of the languages, uh, these are practically the languages they have, they use to communicate with each other in that part of the Philippines, okay? So let's now move on. Okay, we have to remember that as we walk through this gallery, okay, about the different artworks produced by different um, people who are born in that region in Mindanao, we have to remember that the culture and arts of this region reflect the diversity of the different ethnicities in the region. Okay, dahil napaka diverse ng mga tribo tribo, ng mga angkan angkan, ng mga lahi lahi na nandun sa parting niya ng Mindanao, nandun, nandun sa parting niya ng Pilipinas. Okay? Napaka-diverse din ang napoproduce nilang artworks. I mean, just look at the, for example, at Malong. It has different designs, no? Sig signifying the different cultures of the different ethnicities in that region. So it's important that we remember that. Bakit walang parang iisa lang na pattern sa kanilang mga embroidery? Bakit walang ganun? Kasi nga, napaka-diverse ng kanilang culture na nare-reflect na rin sa kanilang pinuproduce na artworks, okay? But before we proceed to our gallery walk, so we would like to say good afternoon to Ma'am Priscilla Abriel Suwelan who is watching from Kidapawan City. Ma'am Mar Merla Havilona, 
who is also watching from or not also is watching from Matanao National High National High Matanao Davao del, del Sur Maylin Banan Acosta watching from La Union okay watching from La Union and we have Kristen Rose Reyes who is a grade 8 student from Santa Rosita okay thank you for being with me this afternoon in our online tutorial session for CPAR okay let's move on for our first artwork in our gallery walk okay we have this art piece this is actually oil on canvas okay done by a uh, painter Marcelino P Nicosia Jr and it's called ang pag-ayag sa kinabuhi ug kalibutan it's an abstract painting that talks about the um, reality of life okay the pessimist and the optimist view of the different people around the world then according to this art we must have control and balance now to preserve the beauty and the natural characteristics of our um, planet of the world so this is oil on canvas this was painted on october 2012 by marcelino p nicosia jr who was born in mindanao it's very important that we understand okay how they how these uh how, how this artist and the other artists as well respect okay respect the story of creation even though we have different religions but we have one aim you no know, the preservation of what um, God has created for us, especially this planet. So this is uh, an artwork, Ang Pag-ayag sa Kinabuhi o Kalibutan, done by Marcelino P. Nicosia Jr. and Oil on Canvas. So that is in the field of painting. Let's move on. From Oil on Canvas, let us have, um, this is actually um, sculpture, okay? This musical instrument carved in wood is called kachapi. And it was done by Marcelino P. Nicosia also. Okay, it is a talaandig traditional guitar, yung kachapi. No? It has two strings, pero he modified the piece down and added two more strings. Okay, so the, the music it produced gives good, relaxing um, tones or tunes. No? So this is actually in the part of sculpture, carving in particular, carving on wood, done by the same artist who produced the oil and canvas painting that I have shown you earlier. So this one is called Kachapi. Okay. So we will dis uh, we now know that um, Nicosia is not just a painter, but also a carver or a sculptor. A sculptor, I'm sorry. So a, a painter and a sculptor sculptor. Okay, moving on. This time we have a really uh, um, kind of modern art, okay that uses charcoal and latex on canvas. This one is produced by Queenie B. Misoles and it is entitled Unreachable. So, ginawa niya tong artwork na to noong August 2014 and medyo may hugot tong artwork na to. So, Unreachable is about that one person in your past that you cannot get over but you can also never obtain. O, di ba sabi ko may hugot? So, Unreachable, yung palang pag-reach out nung hand is very... Um, expressive okay that it's somehow i know it's it's first it's frustrated to get a hold of that person who's already part of the past okay pero gusto pa rin niyang maobtain pero hindi niya pa rin maobtain so unreachable so very expressive very meaningful painting charcoal and latex on canvas by miss soles who is the artist of this one okay so this is mo more um this gives more modern vibes, okay, compared to the abstract one that we have seen earlier, okay. But they are all masterpieces of this different Mindanao artists. Let's proceed to the next um, art piece in our virtual gallery walk. All right. Uh, this one is um, as looking at this. Upon looking at this artwork, okay, we will realize that it's full of emotions also. Okay, and this is called Ours. It's acrylic on canvas painting painted by Ada Salvado in May 2014. So, and it talks about patience. So, alam naman natin na patience is a virtue, pero this one 
talks about patience. As you can see, diba, when you are waiting for someone or for something, waiting for a sign from above, if we want to do something and we're still waiting, okay, we just sit somewhere, you know, stare at the vast emptiness of the surrounding, for example, and just wait, no? So it, it depicts also a state of endurance under difficult circumstances, diba? While you're waiting, you you may be uh, you will be undergoing different struggles, but still at the end of the day, your main goal is to be patient. Okay, para din yung while waiting for for uh, our prayers to come true, or while waiting for that someone to knock on your door and do the big move, a huge move that will really surprise you. It's all part of ours. An acrylic painting on canvas done by Ada Salvado, who is also from Mindanao region. Okay, so there you go. Here is another um, modern approach on painting. Next, we have an art installation. Okay, as you can see, it has uh, it made use of different materials that we may consider as junk. This is actually junk art installation. Okay, done by Kublai Milan. And one of the one of the famous contemporary artists that we have in our country these days, not just in the Philippines but even abroad. So his real name is Ray Mujahid Ponce Milan. Okay, he was born in Cotabato City. It's also in Mindanao. He studied at UP, and yan napakalawak ng kanyang um, ginagalawan sa mundo na siya. Nasa sculpture siya, art photography, painting digital arts, okay, performance arts, at syempre, yan, pagsas pagsasagawa ng mga art installation. So, itong art installation na to, in the left side of your screen, um, makikita nyo yan, o maaari yung makita uh, somewhere sa Juan, uh, not Juan, um, Ponce, sorry, Ponce Suites um, Convention Center, if I'm not mistaken. So, doon makikita yung art installation na yan. At doon sa area na yun ay marami ka makikita ang art pieces done by Kublai Milan himself. Okay? So, there you go. An art installation, definitely uh, an example of contemporary art, now which is still installed today. So, you can still visit it if time permits. Okay? Moving on. So, okay, na, okay pa ba kayo sa ating gallery walk? Again, we are walking through the masterpieces produced by different Mindanao artists in different fields. But before we continue, let me say once again, good afternoon to um, Rian Claire Andiko, who is asking, is this grade 4 or grade 1 to 10? Um, to answer, um, sir or ma'am, this is actually for senior high school, contemporary Philippine arts from the region. Good afternoon also to Sir Arnel Rosette who is watching from Bamban National High School, San Clemente, Tarla. And then yung kanina si Christine Rose Reyes is a grade 8 student from Santa Resita, um, Resita High National High School. Okay, so there you go. So let's proceed to our next artwork. So this is it. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one is called Kigal Nesif. Okay. Kigal Nisif is a traditional clothing. It's actually a blouse worn by Tiboli women. It is richly decorated with um, varied materials and uh, using different techniques. So this one, the embroidery is done by artist Jocelyn Segundo Tony in 2001. Pero marami pang ibang Kigal Nisif na, na patterns and decorations na available sa mga Tiboli women. So we're just featuring one one embroidery work done by a Mindanao artist named Jocelyn Segundo Tony. And again, as you can see in the pattern, okay, very dominant, no? Yung pagiging, um, sabihin na natin, ethnic ng artwork na to. Although it's in a, in a woman's clothing, okay, it, it represents, it represents the, the culture that is very Tiboli, no? In its, in its very essence, in the pattern, in the colors, and most definitely, when you get to hold the, the item itself, okay, makikita mo na very high quality yung kanilang pagkaka-embroidered ng mga patterns dito sa Kigal na Sif. Okay, so there you go. So this is embroidery art done by Jocelyn Segundo Tony okay, on a Kigal na Sif, which is a traditional blouse or clothing worn by Tiboli women. Sabi natin kanina, diba, in Mindanao, you will, 
you will find a large concentration of ethnic minority. So yung mga Tiboli, isa sila doon. Okay? And isa rin yung kanilang um, um, lahi na merong napakayaman na, na culture and art. No? Culture and art na thriving from the ancient times up to the present times. At ito ay nilalanguyan na rin ngayon ng iba't ibang artist. Kasi naman, undying to mga patterns na to. Okay? So, I would see different people who will also use the same patterns as their tattoos. Diba? Kasi nga, ano siya, um, it's very popular okay? when, when we talk about ethnicity. No? So, this is, again, a Kigal Nasif embroidery done by Jocelyn Segundo Tone. Okay. Let's move on. This one is called the motorcycle ride. So this piece of art is actually mixed media. So meaning the artists use different materials and techniques in producing this artwork. Sabi natin, ma'am, paano naging motorcycle ride yan? It's like, ano, um, Jackson Pollock gun, uh, even matter, no? <laughs> Kidding. Okay, no offense, but I like, I like his words. Uh, I adore his works. But going back, so this is motorcycle ride kasi inspired dyan ng pagta-travel sa Bukidnon, no? When you go to the uh, to Bukidnon according to the artist and you want to explore the place, you need to be able to, uh, you need the motorcycle para mas ma-experience mo yung lugar ng Bukidnon. Yung hangin, yung ambiance, yung atmosphere, everything. So it's a mixture of that experience. Okay, using or r while riding a motorcycle. And this is how the artist express that experience. So that's why this art piece is called Motorcycle Ride. And the painter of this mixed media is Brian Lee D. Celeste, who did the work on February 2013. So it's very important na as an artist, hindi porket naisip mo o nakakuha ka ng inspiration sa paligid mo, a limited ka lang sa pagpipinta o pag sketch na kung ano yung nakikita ng mata mo. Okay? We also, we also have what we call as abstract expressionism. Okay? And, and I believe this has been applied in this, in this piece of art, in this mixed media painting, no? Abstract expressionism, wherein you use, you use different um, uh, materials and techniques, but you don't see what your eyes regular, uh, you don't paint what your eyes regularly see. Okay? Instead, you made it up in your mind at kung ano yung luma nandun, yun yung, yun yung ilalabas sa iyo, ng iyong mga kamay at yun yung ipipinta. Okay? So, this is, again, motorcycle ride. So, it's it's very abstract, yes, but of course, there are people out there who are aficionados of abstract paintings. Okay? And this is mixed media. It's, it's a lot uh, different than your regular um, oil on canvas painting. Kasi dapat bihasa ka din sa paggamit ng ibang um, materials or, or media nga na tinatawag when it comes to producing this kind of art form, which is mixed media. Alright? So there you go. So those um, art pieces that we have gone through are examples of the contemporary artworks in Mindanao. Done of course by Mindanao artists. And earlier, okay, meron tayong example ng performance art which is Singkil. Kung mapapansin nyo doon sa ating mga naunang slides, di ba? Meron tayong singkil which is still um, a very um, sought-after performance in the field of dancing, okay? Even up to this day. So aside from singkil, meron ding itik-itik and other da dance forms that um, that are truly uh, Mindanao, okay? Then of course, we have the different festivals in Mindanao. Isa nga yung Kadapawan Festival, Okay? At itong mga festival na ito, ito ay representation din na contemporary art in Mindanao. The colors, you know, the movements, they are pretty much very true blue Mindanao. So there you go. That sums up our artwork, our artwork gallery walk for the day. Okay? Before I proceed to our takeaways, let me say good afternoon and thank you, Mom. Mary Flor Hipol, watching from Benguet Division, and Ma'am Emily Pinili Rivera. Rivera, I'm sorry. Ma'am Emily Pinili Rivera, who is also present with us this afternoon. Thank you for being with me in our online Itulai tutorial. Okay, so what are the takeaways for today after that 
um, gallery walk that we've had and we'll talk about Mindanao. These are the important important um, um, knowledge that we have to be uh, we have to remember okay for today's lesson. So number one, we talked about the different information about Mindanao. Okay, yung ethnicity nila, yung yung area. Okay, gaano kalawak yung Mindanao area? Pang ilan nito sa pinak sa mga islands sa Pilipinas in terms of uh, in terms of area, di ba? It's the second largest. Okay, ano yung mga languages spoken in Mindanao or let's say dialects also? Okay, and then um ito yung tinatawag na land of the uh, promised land or land of the promise and also pioneer frontier of the Philippines kasi yung agricultural lands nga niyan, maraming undeveloped na pwedeng pang explore Okay, so those are the informa information that we learned about the region of Mindanao. And more importantly, for this afternoon, sabi ko, di ba, we, we are going on a flight to Mindanao because we just did a virtual gallery walk of the different contemporary artworks in Mindanao. Emang, paano po yung Dorian? Well, artwork din yun, the nature's artwork. Okay, char. All right, so I hope you learned this important um, knowledge, okay, about the region of Mindanao. All right, so let's move on to our activity. So I'm um, refraining from giving you a quiz, although we've had lots of information today. But instead, we're going to have an activity related to our lesson. Are you ready? So if you want to participate more in this activity, you can type in your answers in our comment section. Or you can, you know, write down your answer on a piece of paper, okay, and Take a picture of yourself and, I don't know, post it, okay, with hashtag itulay or send it to me. I am your tutor, Mary Grace Banal, okay, and we can have it featured in our next session. Are you ready for the activity, guys? Okay, I hope you are. So this one is pretty much easy and I hope you're familiar with bucket listing, okay? So the instruction for this activity is for you to list down five Mindanao bucket list that you would like to experience. Okay, so nalaman natin yung area ng Mindanao. Okay, nalaman natin yung mga artworks na meron doon. Nagkaroon tayo ng gallery walk. Ano ngayon yung five things that I would like to experience that is truly or that are truly Mindanao. Okay, so I know it might not be possible but this is bucket listing. And one of the things that uh, may get you excited. Okay, so let's proceed. You're going to use this template, okay? Top 5 Mindanao Experience. So we call this activity, My Mindanao Bucket List. Are you ready? I'm going to give you some time, a few seconds perhaps, a few seconds, kaya kaya yon, or a minute to type in your answer. Kung hindi nyo kaya yung 5, you can just, you know, send top 3 or top 2, but it's better if it's 5, okay? For example, if I were to... Um, fill up this bucket list. This will be my top two. I would like to take a selfie with Mount Apo. Pero honestly guys, kasama talaga yan sa personal bucket list ko. Okay? Kasi dan na yung sa, sa Mount Banahaw. So gusto ko rin sa Mount Apo and sa Mayon, of course. Okay? But for Mindanao experience, gusto ko mag-selfie with Mount, Mount Apo. In the background, of course. Okay? Pwede rin namang sa taas kung kakayanin kong mag-hike. But that's besides the point. Okay, that's for the next bucket list. So, take a selfie with Mount Apple. And my second bucket list, okay, for my top five Mindanao experience would be, okay, to be in the next Mindanao Art Fair and Exhibit. I think the first nila I didn't up in 2019. So, I'm not 100% sure if nagkaroon nung 2020. But if magkakaroon ulit this year or next year in the coming years, I would like to be there and experience the Mindanao Art Fair and Exhibit, especially see okay, the artworks of Kublai Milan with my very own eyes. So guys, these are the examples of my personal bucket list for my top five Mindanao experience. What's yours? Let's see in our comment section kung ano yung mga nilagay ng ating mga participants, okay? Let's see, we have Sir Carl, let me just fix this for a while. Okay, Sir Carl Henley Damaso from Kuwait, if I'm not mistaken, says, Number one, I would go to Davao just to see the durian. Just to see lang, sir. You also have to taste it. Okay, masarap talaga siya, despite its pungent odor. Number two, I will go to Cagayan to see the festival. 
Oh, that's nice. So, so I also would like to experience the festival. Thank you very much, sir. That's a nice idea. Number three, I will take a selfie with the festivals. Yeah, and also probably dance with the people dancing in the festival. Number four, I want to see the Philippine eagle in the vow. Okay, that's that's a very good experience. A very good point in your bucket list. And I want to see the exhibit. Okay, I want to see the exhibit. Let me just complete that. I want to see the exhibit in the Vow City. Okay, that's that's also a good point, and it's very much uh, related to exploring the contemporary art forms or art pieces in Mindanao. So thank you, Carl Henry, Carl Henry Damaso, for sending us your answer in our My Mindanao bucket list activity. Yeah, and so um, good afternoon, Mom Julia Reyes. Thank you for being in this session, and also to Paula May. Thank you for watching this session. There you go. That is our activity for the day, my Mindanao bucket list. So who knows one day we'd be able to tick off okay, this list okay, as we move on with our lives okay, at maging part sana ng inyong personal experience, personal goals, okay, ang mga bagay na ito. Before I proceed, I also would like to read the answer from Maria Clarice Angela Juarez of Quezon Science High School. Sabi niya, I want to visit the naked island of Siargao. Wow. Beach experience. I want to visit the naked... Ay, times five pala yon. I want to visit the naked island of Siargao. Kasi who, who doesn't want that? Diba? Who doesn't want to be in Siargao? It's a nature's masterpiece. Okay? All right. So let's move on. Siyempre, that ends our lesson for the day. But it doesn't mean that our session is over without giving you guys my quote-unquote session or moment okay my quote unquote moment this time around i'm going to relieve the quote of a french impressionist artist okay say edgar Degas. so edgar Degas, i um popular siya okay as a french impressionist painter nga and popular siya sa mga paintings niya kasi ang majority ng paintings niya if not all ay tungkol sa iba't ibang taong nagsasayaw ballet dancers, or kaya just uh, an average person dancing. Doon kilala si Edgar Dukar. Okay? At sinabi niya, and I quote, Art is not what you see, but what make you, but what you make others see. Unquote. By Edgar Dukar. Okay? So, art is not what you see. So, kagaya ni sinabi ko kanina, doon sa abstract, ba? Okay? So, hindi porket, hindi ka, let's say, hindi ka aficionado ng abstract art, abstract painting, kaysa sabihin mo, ay, magulo yan, hindi ko naman maintindihan ko ano yung sinasabi niyan, di ba? But it's more on the other side kasi. What the artist, okay, would like you to see. Hindi yung nakita mo na magulo, pero kung ano ba yung, what's behind that, na, na naging inspiration ng artist to paint that abstract painting. O kaya, to to install that um, weird art installation. If you remember yung ating um, installation dati na may, maraming na feature na art installation dati na maraming broken um, doll heads, no? Na nilagay sa mga sticks, sa dulo ng stick. That art installation, it may look uh, gross and, um, I don't know, grotesque. Pero there is meaning behind it, di ba? So it is what you make others see. So if you're an artist, okay, and you want other people to see something in your artwork, nandun yung focus mo. Hindi sa kung ano ba, Ano ba yung makikita lang ng tao pag tingin nila sa artwork? Okay? Art is not, um, it is not visible. It is not what you see is what you get. It's something beyond that. Sabi nga ni, um, sabi nga ni, ano, ni sino to? Yung best friend ni Woody sa Toy Story. <laughs> sabi niya, di ba? Okay, to infinity and beyond. Ganon din yung art. It is not what you see, but what you make others see. This is in the point of view of the artist, of course. There you go. That's Edgar Degas for you. And I hope that you learned something from his art quotation. All right. And I think that pretty much sums up our afternoon for our SIPAR Itulai online tutorial session. I am your tutor for this afternoon, Tutor Mary Grace. And I will see you again next week in our next SIPAR lesson. But tomorrow, please be with us in our Wednesday morning habit. Guys. Thank you, good afternoon, and goodbye.
Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating itulay tutorial session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan bukas mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating Ito Live free online tutorial session sa Filipino. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating Ito Live tutorial session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippines social media accounts. Paalam!